What's going on, y'all? Currently 11.10, and I'm just uh, starting the first video. Um, it's been quite a busy morning. Um, start off waking up at 5.20, went for about three mile jog. Um, it went really, it was tough, but um, I really pushed myself and it took me to a good headspace, um, which is nice, man. Um, when you push yourself and use, when you push yourself past, you know, the point of discomfort where it's hurting a lot, uh, physically, it's like in, or not hurting a lot, but burning a lot, um, like in running, working out, whatever, it kind of puts your mind and makes your mind think of ways to motivate yourself to finish and keep going and, um, you find these certain ways, these certain things to motivate you to keep doing, to keep going. And yeah, so that's, so this morning, uh, yeah, you found those things. And then once you find those things, you can translate it to other areas, whether it be business, whether it be school, all the mental areas. And it's a uh, pretty good work today. Um, got home, around, came back. I didn't have enough time to actually, uh, prep for the small business plan installation at um, Pittsburgh. So uh, we moved that to tomorrow. And today we just did the lobster tank. Yes, yeah, so we service the lobster tank. Um, but yeah, in between that time, between, you know, eating breakfast, when I got home from running, I ate breakfast and, and I didn't have enough time to, um, you know, kind of work on the small business plan. So I just decided to do something productive and clean instead of wasting that time watching TV or something. So, yeah, it kind of put me in a good head of space. Um, yeah, again, I didn't record any of the Red Lobster stuff, man. I need to remember to <laughs> document this for these videos as well as for uh, social media. But yeah, tomorrow I promise that I'm going to do it. But, yeah, it went pretty good. Um, there's a few hiccups here and there, but we were able to adjust and... We're done an hour and a half, which is a pretty good time. We strive to be done. Uh, we try to get done in two hours. Hour and a half is good. Hour is where we want to be. So, uh, yeah, everything went pretty good. Came home, uh, packed everything up, or put all our equipment up. Uh, wrote in my little book about what went wrong, what went right, and how I can improve. And yeah. Um, just flown right now, 11.13, about to get on computer, and I'm going to go eat lunch with the family at 11.30, so, yeah, busy, busy day, but, you know what, I love it, <laughs> and that's what life's all about, is moving and not just, you know, sitting, waiting, so yeah, I'm going to get to the computer stuff, log in, uh, and QuickBooks, our appointment, and then, uh, to lunch. Alright, y'all, so... Last video was before lunch. Now it is currently 7.49. Um, so yeah, in between that time, I went to lunch. It was good. Hung out the fam. And after that, kind of updated um, some things, some information about the tank and kind of like the, uh, sort of like um, the uh, information about the tank and updating that stuff. And yeah, kind of our database of the tank, of our tanks. Um, so yeah, updated that. It took a little bit of time. Um, so what I basically did was write, uh, took down all the equipment, or each piece of equipment that the aquarium uses, type of fish, all that stuff. So we have it in a database. We can, if stuff needs to be replaced, or whatever, we can go to it and, um, you know, easily do that. So yeah, um, after that, working on the small business plan. Um, yeah, let me show you what I have so far. Yeah, so we got these displays all nice and laminated. Um, yeah, so it looks pretty good actually. Can't even tell, but I have it hooked up to the uh, little holding piece right there. And it's actually attached with a mounting putty. And then I attached a piece of cardboard on the back of the displays, just so it's a little bit more, you know, sturdy. 
Yeah, it looks pretty good. See, so yeah, I spent um, my time doing working on this. I have this done. And then I still have to um, attach the other laminated sheets um, as well. But yeah, so that's what I did. And then let me flip the camera around. And then after that, I kind of. Um, I went to the gym with my girlfriend. It went good. Workout went good. Um, yeah. And, you know, I was in a much better mood than last week when I went to the gym with her. So, so overall good when you kind of push yourself and don't do the comfortable thing to do. Um, things work out. And that's what I'm kind of seeing today. So, yeah, we got food and came home. Now I'm here. Yeah, so so I gotta work on finished displays. Um, my brother's working on some illustrations for the whiteboard. And yeah, everything should be coming along together nicely for tomorrow. So yeah, I gotta work on the displays, the other two displays, and then the sheets. So I'll get to that and update you guys. What's going on, y'all? Another late night fucking beat. Uh, ended up finishing the other two displays. Uh, got some crowns, pencils. I got pretty much everything I need for tomorrow. End up having go going back to Home Depot to fucking get the correct tape because the clear tape, um, the way that the mounting was works is that this piece uh, you mount, I have mounting tape or mounting putty and it's see-through. So when it's like this, when you're looking at it from this angle, like if you're looking underneath the display, you can see the putty. So end up having to get black tape so it kind of covers up the putty. It makes it look a little bit cleaner. Um, yeah, load up the car and ran into some fucking major printing issues. First of all, couldn't find paper. Found some cardstock. Printed out two sheets. It looked perfect. It looked very nice. And then for the next, and then all of a sudden it just started fucking up out of nowhere. Um, I guess the printer isn't rated for cardstock, so I ended up having to use a paper I got last week, which I thought was glossy, was it? And now it's being used, so yeah. You know, you never know. Anyways, guys, it's, I've been tempted with this printing struggle to go on Reddit and all these vices and just release this frustration. But I say strong, I push through it. I, you know, I push past the discomfort. I owe that to David Goggins, one, uh, working out another and keeping that mentality throughout the day. But yeah, anyways guys, gotta wait for about 30 more pages to print out. And I'm going to bed. Um, another tough day going to bed probably about 11.30 tonight. Waking up at 5 tomorrow to do it all again. But that's life. It's all about the struggle, about, about the grind. Another day tomorrow. Anyways, guys, remember believe in yourself. Or, no, unfortunately, I don't know why I say believe in yourself first. Believe in God, believe in yourself. Give 100%. I promise you'll be happy with the results. Um, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. And I promise, 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 promise. I'll get some infield footage of my work. Peace.